why is the integration between QReader and BigFig a big deal? I'm going to give you three reasons. Reason number one, did you know that from QReader, you can use BigFig, which knows everything about vulnerabilities on every endpoint on the enterprise by filling up this simple question, which is basically a user ID and a password for uh, for, for big fix uh, and doesn't have to be an admin password I mean just to retrieve information and if you do that and you schedule a scanner let's say at the end of every day uh, what you will be able to get is the vulnerability data from big fix right into QVMs uh, into the asset database of, of curator so for example, in here, in my demo system, I have 652 vulnerabilities that were reported by, uh, by BigFix as a scanner. And why do you want that? Don't, don't you have a scanner? Sure. But who scans every day? Nobody has the, the time to, uh, the, the network time to scan all the endpoints every day. Well, you, with BigFix, you have that information. Also, what happened if something changed? Uh, that, that you think that something will this vulnerability be patched already or not since the scan was you know done last week well you get this real time from from big fix is an api connection that you pull that information into big fix into curator and, and you have that oh what about a new vulnerability being published after my last scan no problem you get the information from the MITRE, from the National Vulnerability Database into Curator about the characteristics of it, and you get from BigFig what is actually have not been patched. So that's reason number one. Use, leverage your BigFig install to get more frequent data into Curator. I'm not saying that this will replace your scanner. That's a philosophical question. You may need it for regulatory reasons or whatever, but nothing will give you more, more frequent data about vulnerability than this simple integration with, uh, with BigFix. Reason number two, I'm investigating a particular offense and let me, let me actually click on this one and I have this, this uh, very trivial integration to do that that actually happens when you download from the App Exchange the BigFix app that, that gives you this tab that you see in here. But I can actually right click on any endpoint and boom, I'm inside the details of that particular machine. What can I find out about it? So notice that without leaving the, the Curator console, I'm a SOC guy, I'm, I, I don't know about Big fix much, but I want to know well, what's that the characteristic of that Windows machine? So you see here, you know, free space, RAM, stuff that might not be too important from a uh, security information. Of course, you got all the all the patch information, but what about files that are in that machine? Lo notice that because Big Fix, by virtue of the inventory component of it, gets information about, you know, everything that is on the box. I here have all these uh, files that have been changed and you specify when you install the app on the last 30 days, 15 days. So this is stuff that is new. And if I'm investigating something that happened on the machine, for example, is this Caldoc.exe? There might be some malware that is in, that, that, that is um, pretending to be look like Caldoc.exe. And if I actually compare the, uh, the hash of this machine with the real calc, you will see that this is no calc. This is actually malware that got into that machine. In the same way, you can actually see what processes are freshly, you know, in the last 30 days or so had been uh, uh, launched uh, from that particular machine. And that will give you, you know, no, well, now I know that the calc.exe not only is a file that exists on the machine, actually has been, <laughs> was run on this particular date. Uh, which is uh, today. So again, uh, lots of visibility into the endpoint. That's reason number two. Reason number three, you know that in, in any offense in QRadar, uh, you have this option of execute custom action with a very simple integration and I will provide uh, uh, 
in the video description of this particular video, I'll show you the links on, that shows you how you configure that. Notice that here I have in my system the capability of asking BigFix to quarantine the particular uh, endpoint that is being involved into this particular act action. I can actually ask BigFix to kill a particular process that is running on that machine. So again, three reasons. If you don't have BigFix, uh, you may consider to, to add it to your to your portfolio, not only because of the great thing that BigFix does on, on patching inventory, power management, uh, software distribution, etc. But this integration alone is actually something very, very useful from a SOC uh, perspective. And if you do have already BigFix in your enterprise, I strongly encourage you to leverage these, uh, these capabilities.